Giants of the Polar Deep Mysteries of the deep sea have always sparked the curiosity of us humans and have intrigued us in finding more about the unknown stuff that lie buried deep within the ocean. Of all the creatures that lie within, a number of giant creatures are yet not known by many of us. But what are these creatures? Why are they so hyped and big? What makes them so big? In this video, we will be discussing the giants of the polar deep. We will be diving deep into each one of them, so if you are new to this channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. Continue watching the video till the end to know more. Have you ever imagined finding spiders the size of dinner plates? Well, you can head to the frigid waters of the Antarctica and you will most likely run across one. The size of these arthropods are not normal. In other parts of the world, these creatures are much smaller, a few centimeters or less. However, back in Antarctica, they experience what is called a polar gigantism, and it is exactly what it sounds like. Marine invertebrates that occur at the poles in really cold water tend to have much larger body sizes than their relatives that live elsewhere, Artwoods, PhD, of the University of Montana, told weather.com. It just doesn't seem to happen to sea spiders. The phenomenon has been seen in marine sponges, worms, even the single-celled organisms studied by scientists like Sam Bowser, PhD, an investigator at the New York State Department of Health Wadsworth Center. Some of them are the size of your pinky nails, he claimed, about the organisms typically only visible under a microscope. Antarctica has been a hotbed for polar gigantism, but it's not the only place to see extra-large species. It occurs in the deep sea as well, aptly named Deep Sea Gigantism there. According to Amy Moran, PhD of the University of Hawaii, who, along with Woods, studies these species, different groups of organisms respond to weird environments in different ways, she claimed. We're trying to understand the animals in these environments. In fact, why this happens remains an open-ended question. Though there is one prevailing theory, and it has to do with oxygen. Pole-dwelling organisms have low metabolic rates because they are cold, living in what Woods describes as slow motion compared to, say, humans. They don't burn oxygen quickly, yet there is an immense amount of oxygen available to them. There's a lot of supply compared to how much demand there is for oxygen, he said. We think that may allow them to evolve very large body sizes because they're not starving for oxygen. Of course, both Woods and Moran are quick to point that this is just one of a number of theories. One has to do with predators, in that there aren't as many down there as there are in warmer waters, so these typically small creatures have evolved to be larger. Another has to do with chemical compounds. These waters have a significant amount of silica, from which some organisms build their shells. More silica leads to bigger shells, which leads to bigger organisms. There are real-world implications to this research, namely clues about how global climate change and global warming will affect ocean dwellers. We're worried that if the southern ocean starts to warm up, and it will, that may shift the oxygen relationships, Woods said. Adds Moran, the giants there are going to be the first to go as things warm up. All in all, it seems that the extreme and constant cold in the southern ocean has led to a number of unusual features of the Antarctic fauna, which leads to polar gigantism. This arises from a combination of cold-driven low metabolic rates and high oxygen availability in the polar oceans. And that's it for today. Did you enjoy watching the video? Did you find the video interesting? Did we miss out on anything? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We would love to get to know your perspective on this matter. Let's discuss these in yet another video. So stay tuned. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you've liked the video, then do make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button too. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of such awesome videos. Until then, see ya.